What's going on guys? Jesse here with Cardlines.com and we're going to look at another weekly recap where this week is mainly a focus on upcoming releases and what we think about each. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll also have some player investment advice and as always we're going to give away some sports cards. So be sure to watch for that. Let's get to it. Before we dive in, a real quick note, I've been paying more attention to our YouTube analytics lately and it seems that a very small percentage of the people who actually are watching this video are subscribed to our channel. So if you could do me a big favor and click the subscribe button below, you're not going to regret it. We're posting shorts on our YouTube every single day and we have long form videos coming out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday three awesome videos coming out next week and we gave away cards to our subscribers so be sure to hit that subscribe button and you won't regret it. Now let's look at this week's stories. I'm a little bit early filming this video this week it is just Thursday so there might be another couple stories pop up between today and the actual release of this video but there are five stories that we dropped this week one a day and we're going to talk about all of them. To start we talked about the best baseball cards of Jordan Lawler. This is coming on the hills of the Jackson Holiday story we wrote last week, and it was very successful. So we dropped this one after Jordan got called up on September 7th to make his Major League debut. And this article introduces him, talks about why you should consider investing in his cards, and identifies five of them that are very good investments. It does a very good job breaking down the PSA population of each of the cards and the price lately. And right now, if you believe in Jordan, this is a good time to get in on his cards because most of them are selling for a reasonably affordable rate. For example, the number three one is selling for $30 to $50. And then the number two, which is the Sapphire card, has been selling as a PSA 10 for 50 to 75. The Bowman Chrome Sapphire editions have been very big cards. And what's the number one card? We'll let you decide. Just go to cardlines.com and figure it out for yourself. And be sure if you like Jordan to get in on the investment floor now because this has potential to grow. All right, now it's time to look at the different release stories. So let's dive in talking about SPX Hockey. This one's a fun product. It's one of the more expensive hockey products, at least in price per card. It has five cards per box, which is up from just four cards last year. So hey, you get a bonus card, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is a great deal. This is one of the popular hockey brands. And this year, like I said, five cards per box, one pack per box. So you get one autograph, four memorabilia cards, and a tech card per box. The autograph's gonna be, of course, your big money maker. The tech cards could be worth a little bit, just kind of like the jersey cards, it depends, but you really need to hit a nice autograph for this to be worthwhile, and if you're considering investing in it as a sealed product, we broke down the numbers there too. Most of the boxes in the past, keep in mind this one's releasing at pre-order for about $125, so the previous years are all selling for more than $125, and realistically you need them to get up to about this $175 mark to even make holding onto these boxes for resale worthwhile. But it looks like consistently they've got up there as they've aged. I don't necessarily know the hockey rookie classes as well, so I'm assuming 2018 and 2019, these two years, have decent rookies to invest in. That usually, at least in NBA, MLB, and NFL cards, propels the value of a particular box. But if you like the rookie class of this one and you're willing to pony up the $125 release price, this would not be a terrible investment. Speaking of terrible investments, Flawless Football is here. It released yesterday, or it released two days ago, based on when you're watching this video. And it is, of course, the uber high end of football cards. You're paying $9,000 for a 10 card box, so about $1,000 a card. It's funny that I just said $25 a card seems like a lot and then pivoted to flawless. Um, probably should have restructured here, but it dropped. You get the whole little briefcase thing as usual. These don't come in a box, they come in an insane briefcase. I did a review of the product here, so check that out. There's some jokes in here. You get, here's the breakdown six autographs, one or two gym cards, and two or three memorabilia cards. The gym cards quite literally have gemstones in them. Uh, it's one of the big selling points. Obviously flawless, the whole theme's built around gems, but you can get rubies, sapphires, diamonds, emerald, platinum cards. And like right here, this one has a diamond in it, so boom, there's a flawless diamond of Patrick Mahomes. It's a very nice product. My big concerns are, there's two big concerns. For one, the rookie class is terrible. Kenny Pickett was supposed to be the best rookie and he looks like he doesn't know how to play football over the last couple weeks, so I'm already out on him. Purdy's a system quarterback. I don't know what I really think about him. So it's not necessarily a rookie class that I want to invest in long-term. And most importantly, if you're buying this box as a sealed long-term investment, you gotta find other people willing to pay hopefully more than $9,000 in the future. So it just has this very limited buyer market. 
and just the high barrier to injury makes it a tough flip at some point in the future. So I'd stay away from Flawless forever. I never am going to be able to afford a $10,000 box, but we'll see. So 2023 Panini Black Football dropped, and I had a great line here. It lives up to its name with lots of black and lots of football. And uh, I know he's joking, but that's a very fair description of this product. It does have a really sharp design. I really like the dark theme. That said, they have Noir and they have Obsidian with Panini, so I don't know that this one's necessarily differentiated enough from those two dark theme brands that it really needs its own release. This is the best, most high-end release. I don't wanna say best, but it's definitely the most high-end release we've seen thus far for the 2023 class. And I've said this, I sound like a broken record at this point, but with the unstable footing of Panini moving forward, and we don't necessarily know if they're gonna be able to finish the year with releasing, the card says according to the NFLPA drama that's shaking out. You don't exactly know what the future of 23 football cards looks like, so if you're looking for a long-term investment, this one could be worth more than we think it should be, just if halfway through the season Panini loses permission to release cards. It's like we said, we just don't know at this point, so it's a big dice roll, even more so than usual. And speaking of usual, here's what the previous years have sold for. 2020, the year with Burrow, Herbert, Hertz, Jefferson, that whole squad, Tua. Uh, he's like the MVP frontrunner right now. I gotta add my boy Tua. He's captain of my fantasy squad. Uh, so that, that one's selling for quite a bit. But the rest of them are selling for less than $500, which is what this year's uh, pre-ordering for. And I, I, I'm seeing a lot of good from C.J. Stroud this year. Bryce Young looks small, and I'm not actually joking. Like, he truly just looks like he's going to struggle for the rest of his career from what I'm seeing, and he's not in a situation that really incubates growth. So kind of worried about that. That said, uh, this, this rookie class is probably closer to the 21 class, if I'm guessing. It's probably somewhere between 21 and... 22 uh, so it's hovering somewhere between these price points it's not as bad as 2019 but it's it's kind of in here somewhere so um, invest with caution if you're thinking about buying this one as a long-term hold we've talked about mosaic football before on here so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it but we finally got the checklist and that's what I want to mention here it has a pretty nice checklist uh, it's pretty deep and now that it's on here, you can go look through it yourself. We got good rookie autographs, but we don't have rookie autographs of some of the biggest names. For example, Bryce Young's not included, and CJ Stroud's not included as well. So if you believe in those guys, and you want an autograph, you're not going to find it out of this product. So that's a breakdown of the stories we dropped this week. Then, as usual, we're going to give away a box of cards. So we are going to pull all of our Instagram followers and then randomize them, pick one lucky follower to win a box of cards, and tag him in a post. So if you win and you see this, all you have to do is just DM us your address, and we will get that box of cards out to you ASAP. We've really enjoyed getting to interact with our collector community, and we love giving back to you guys. So that's all you have to do to win. So I downloaded all of our Instagram followers. We're gonna grab all their usernames. We're gonna go to random.org list and we're gonna randomize this three times. Top name is going to be our winner. Tmac, that was time one. I'm up to 425 followers, appreciate all you guys. It says 426 on here because one of them is the username column from the document. Divine7258 is our winner. Congrats, Divine. You won a box of Prism Basketball. We'll be sending it out to you. It's a blaster box. I don't get too excited, but it's going to be fun. Let us know if you pull some big cards. Thank you all for participating in the giveaway. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Cardlines to be entered to win next week. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to be entered to win some cards in a different way, too. We like making videos with you guys and sending you some cards to make it happen. Thanks again for the support. Watch some other videos while you wait for our next one. See you soon.